Hello everyone, my name is Kayla and I'm a technical solutions professional at AP Elements. AP Elements offers one of the best migration solutions out there on the market, Fly. As you can see from this product homepage, Fly can migrate from all these sources into Office 365. This video walks you through the process of performing groups or teams migration with Fly. The first step is to establish a connection to both your source and destination. On the left navigation pane, click App Management. Click Add to create an app profile to connect to your source. Give your profile a name. Fill in the email address of an Office 365 Global Administrator. Then click Authorize. You will be directed to the Office 365 login page where you enter the password of this global admin and read through a list of permissions the app will need for migration. Click Accept to create the app and connect to your source. Once the app management page reloads, you can verify if the connection has been established by reviewing all the app profiles displayed here. Repeat this process to connect to your destination. Now comes to the actual migration. On the left navigation pane, under Migration, click Groups slash Teams Migration. From the drop-down type, choose Groups or Teams. Then start with the wizard to guide you through the process. Click the plus sign to start. And follow the steps to choose your source and destination by selecting the app profiles you created in the previous step. After you choose your source and destination, click Next to go to Planning. If a group or team of the same name as the source already exists in destination, the destination boxes will be automatically populated with that name. Otherwise, manually fill in the alias of another group or team to create a mapping. If there are groups or teams you do not wish to migrate, simply toggle the status off or do so in batch with the disable button. If you have a large number of groups or teams and it's a hassle to go through a lot of pages, you can export a CSV file containing all the information on this page, fill in the mapping, and import it back to Fly to continue. The settings page is where you create a migration plan. Give your plan a name and select a migration policy to fine tune your plan. Fly has a built in default migration policy, which you can view here. Or you can opt to create a new migration policy. Give your policy a name. Configure settings for group team site, mailbox, and user mapping as needed. Once you're done, click Save to create a new policy and use it for your migration. You can now proceed to configuring a schedule for both the first job and subsequent incremental jobs to run at your specified interval, as well as a cut over time. When you are finished, click Next to review all the settings, then click Finish. This job will then run at the specified time. Now click Migration Status to view details for all jobs. Expand the upper pane to view the number of jobs in different status and the data volume migrated from each source. Collapse the upper pane to see job information. You can see the migration source and all the mappings included in the job. Should you encounter any failures or exceptions, you can download details and logs for troubleshooting. The job details will include a report of every object that has been included in your job, and you can see if they've been successfully migrated. After you fix whatever issue causing job disruption, go back to migration, locate your plan, and click Run Incremental Job Now 
This will start an incremental job immediately to bring over everything that failed in the previous one. Thank you for your time and enjoy your migration with Fly.